Do you believe that the partnership between WESO and the Answer Project will be effective in addressing the challenges related to the inclusion and accessibility of students with disabilities? In many ways, yes. We strongly believe in this project and the partnership that we are that we have with uh, all the partners uh, involved in the implementation of the project, uh, like the Minister of Education, uh, National Council of Persons with Disabilities, and uh, the three universities. Um, and we have already s started observing, uh, you know, the the change. So, like I talked about the awareness campaign uh, that we uh, we we're having at Ines Rangeri in uh, in Musanze. Uh, but in addition to that, our aim of your partnership with Ines Rehengeri, it's it goes beyond that. It, uh, uh, the same with the University of Rwanda. This this these are partnership that includes involves research. So we 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 aspire to to engage in research together to really examine. What are the models, practice, you know, like interventions that would uh, strengthen the education of students with disabilities, and you know, and any other field? So, like partnering with uh, a higher education institution, if you don't do research, you don't really like you are you don't get the very best, the, you know, like all the spices of the partnership. So that we see that as a very big expectation, and the other thing is. Uh, you know, like I said, we have 10 years of experience today as well. So I personally am a graduate from the University of Rwanda. Yeah, correct. Uh, like 11 years ago. Glad. After one year, I formed the WESO. So it's very big. Uh, it is my interest today mm -hmm. to work with the university where I went as an alumni um, to contribute to solving some of the challenges that I also went through when I was still there. And some of them are still there. So, and um, the fact that we are connected with the students, uh, with the graduates, with the lecturers, some of them being, being our, uh, you know, our lecturers when it's still students, and mm -hmm. even the team that we're working with here today, some of them are graduates from, you know, these universities. So it's a very big advantage for us. And we, so we see the trust and, uh, you know, mutual collaboration. So the other thing is, uh, Addressing some of the issues that have not been uh, documented, mm -hmm. especially speaking from the heart, you know, from our, our experience as students, former students of, you know, these universities, you know, so we, we see uh, that creating more opportunities to engage uh, academically, um, to improve welfare, and also creating more opportunities for persons with abilities around the you know the school environment and even sharing the learning with other high education institutions that may not be part of uh, uh, the answer project and this also in, involves working more extensively with institutions and corporates uh, that have been working with these universities to place students with disabilities so we go asking for an internship but then later we also ask for employment a job mm, mm. and also we also ask for more like skills development trainings for the students mm. so that's how we are targeting um, uh, th th this project and how we expect to benefit